Hey, welcome back to the uh, latest episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Like I always appreciate you swinging by to watch another beer review. And tonight's episode features one out of uh, Fathead Brewing, out of uh, Middleton Heights, Ohio. Sorry, Middleburg Heights, Ohio. Uh, another uh, local um, in-state uh, Ohio craft beer that I'll be reviewing here on the channel. And this here is their uh, Strange Magic uh, IPA. And uh, as usual, Madhead, they got the uh, little Madhead logo guy. Um, always have decent artwork with their little uh, cartoonish character that they've created here. Uh, he's got like a, uh, I don't know, like he's mixing some uh, mad scientist uh, concoction up. You see the hops uh, popping out and everything. So uh, as far as the artwork goes... Um, I'm actually giving this um, a four and a half out of five because, in addition to that, they also list the uh, ABV and the IBU on the can. And this here is coming in at uh, six and a half percent uh, ABV and uh, 65 on the uh, interne international uh, bitter unit. So, uh, a little bit of reading here on the can. And it says, uh, Strange Magic uh, India Pale Ale. Uh, the magic in it is in our masterful combination of hops that create this ridiculous good India Pale Ale. The strange thing is how we get as much of it as we do into the can before we drink it ourselves. And then it says, uh, Chill out, man. Have a beer. So, uh, definitely like the artwork on there. Definitely like the fact that they put the uh, ABV and the IBU on there. And again, this is a 12 ounce can. I got this in a uh, build uh, build your own six pack uh, for uh, $9.99. And let's go ahead and get a pour on this here. I've never had this one before. Um, I've had uh, a few different people um, tell me that this is actually a very good one. So um, right there on the top of the can, it says... Uh, watch it disappear so again uh, very cool artwork on this now i was already getting a little bit of a citrusy aroma so there's a um citrus dankness to this a bit of a pininess um an earthiness to it there is a little bit going on there in the aroma actually Uh, color wise on this got about a about a finger ahead that was on there a uh, little bit more of a uh, really really dark orange or almost I guess an amberish um, tint to this really uh, hazy amber tint to that uh, there are a few floaties in there um, Head's about gone, but there there is some lacing still taking place on this. So let's go ahead and get a drink on and uh, see what it has to offer us. All right. Very good. Citrus is there. There is that dank pininess to it. But not crazy dankness or crazy pininess that uh, I'm not a huge fan of. But there is a, a dank, a dankness, like I said, a dank pininess to this thing. Um, citrus is there. I want to say there's some grapefruit that I'm picking up in the uh, the taste here, as well as an orange pill type of taste in this. Uh, mouth fill, it's a straight on medium. Um, medium mouth fill with a bit of a, a thick juiciness to it at first, but uh, I'm gonna just go straight up medium on the mouth fill. Nice carbonation mouth fill too. Nice crisp mouth fill. Yeah, so I am a fan of Fatheads. Um, 
So rating this thing here. Um, yeah, I'm I'm on the chart here. I'm so I'm good with a solid four out of five on this. Uh, four out of five. I'd probably drink this anytime it's available. It is actually uh, very good. In fact, I drank a little bit more uh, than I thought I had. So i um, got to save a little bit for the uh, picture that I'll be posting on Instagram and uh, Twitter. So follow me there. This guy's thoughts. Um, like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. Um, be sure to drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about uh, Fathead. If you had this before, I'd like to know your, uh, your thoughts on it as well. That's my thoughts. <laughs>